For millions of artifacts in the Henry Ford's digital collections, our experts choose three and reveal the surprisingly curious connections between them. What connects this cabin, desk, and metal? In colonial America, people practiced a variety of religions. Many had come to escape persecution based on their beliefs. The founding fathers, like George Washington, who believed everyone should be protected in worshiping according to the dictates of his own conscience, prioritized religious freedom, guaranteeing it in the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. As the nation grew, communities of many faiths proliferated and flourished. Scotch-Irish Presbyterians, originally from Scotland, settled along the American frontier in the 18th century. Their beliefs and values influenced the way other Americans lived and learned. William Holmes McGuffey was born to a Scotch-Irish family in this cabin in 1800. As an adult, he created a series of educational readers. These popular textbooks, influenced by McGuffey's Presbyterian background, taught generations of schoolchildren and ultimately helped define American society. In Germany on the eve of World War II, Adolf Hitler's troops vandalized Jewish neighborhoods. Nazi forces smashed and nearly destroyed this desk owned by the Adler family. The Adlers fled to America, bringing the desk, which they'd been forced to repair, with them. For Ruth Adler Schnee, a teenager at the time, the cherished desk was a symbol of a life left behind. Despite her family's hardship, she thrived in her new home and became a pioneer of modern design renowned for her bold textiles. In 1960, John F. Kennedy became the first Catholic person to be elected president, defying religious discrimination. This medal commemorates Kennedy's inauguration, which included a family Bible brought by his ancestors from Ireland. Kennedy's family persevered despite brutal prejudice against Irish Catholics and his campaign and election helped revolutionize American politics. Kennedy attributed his success to the values his great-grandfather brought to America, a strong religious faith and a strong desire for liberty. The freedom of religion, protected by the U.S. Constitution, created a refuge for people of many faiths to live and worship according to their own beliefs. Today's America was shaped by that varied landscape, it is a place where people from different communities of worship, like William Holmes McGuffey, Ruth Adler Schnee, and John F. Kennedy, can have broad impact, changing American society and culture. <laughs>